Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White. May 26th, Claiming the Privileges. I will follow thee, my Savior, wheresoe'er my lot may be. Where thou goest, I will follow. Yes, my Lord, I'll follow thee. I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou didst shed thy blood for me. And though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace I'll follow thee. Claiming the Privileges Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Do whatever you can, and the way will open before you. Every moment of time is golden. Souls out of Christ are to be persuaded to lay hold of the hope of the gospel. We are not to live in this world to please ourselves. We have stern, earnest work to do every day of our lives. We look by faith to the things that are unseen, and in so doing, we lose sight of the trials and hardships of the way. Heaven is our home. We dare not run any risk of losing the one hope we have cherished so long, of seeing Jesus as he is and of being made like him. We hope you will guard your steps, live the life of prayer and faith, and win the unfading crown of glory. There is no other way for any of us to be saved, but that way wrought out by our Redeemer. He has in his life on the earth, given us a practical illustration in self-denial and self-sacrifice of what he wishes us to be. I came not, says Christ, to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. See John chapter 6 verse 38. We cannot be Christians while we live to please ourselves. We must enter in through the straight gate of self-denial if we follow the master. This straight, self-denying path is too narrow for many to walk in who profess godliness. They want an easier path and are climbing up some other way. They refuse to follow in the footsteps of our Redeemer. Christ calls all such thieves and robbers. They take the name of Christian, which does not belong to them, but because they do not represent in their life the life of Christ. They claim the privileges which belong to the sons of God while they are none of his. They live selfish lives upon the earth and have done nothing for the truth and the salvation of souls as they ought to have done. Sad indeed for these self-deceived ones. They will never see heaven because they are not willing to share the shame the reproach that Jesus suffered for them. Dear children, let Christ be enshrined in your hearts, and you will love all for whom Christ has died and will do all you can to save them. This Day with God, May 26th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.